You know what's fun is when you're just like working. What am I doing? It's a weird question. I'm not doing anything. Is it safe to stop recording? <laughs> but I don't think you're gonna get me. Hey, I got a light. Three, two, one. Hey, everyone, and welcome to episode eight of Geek Cetera Podcast. In today's show, Kyle gets romantic. Hey, ladies. Luke, maybe officially quit? It's kind of unclear. And Chase fills in because he's awesome. And I speak some Taiwanese. Now, let's get geeky. In our first segment of the show, where we talk about things that we did in the last week, um, we're going to start with you, Kyle. What stuff did you do that was geeky in the past week? Or well, really, rom- from the from the from since the past show? <laughs> well, romance is geeky, right? Uh, I went away with my wife on a nice little vacation. I mentioned that we had been married for five years and a couple podcasts ago. And uh, our my in laws had gotten us a week away or a weekend away up north, so we just went, and it was great. But that first Saturday, we got up and um, we were like, "Ah, oh, let's go out for breakfast." You know, it's leaf peeping season, and and um, let's get an early start to our day. So we, I was like, "Oh, I saw this great breakfast place up uh, up a mile ago. Let's go there." Well, that was closed. And then we, I was like, all right, let's keep looking. We found another one that was closed. And then another one was closed for the season. Apparently, leaf peepers don't like to go in October when there's actual autumn leaves on the trees and whatever. So that was annoying. And we, so finally, we found a place we went in. It was cash only. I don't carry cash. So I was like, this is ridiculous. We're going back to the resort. So we got in the car and I backed into a pole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Telephone pole. Very romantic. Yeah. It was it was great. So, you know, I, I'm not gonna say our weekend went off without a hitch. We ended up having a great time, but that was that was the start. That was just the start. Uh, that is awesome. So last week you left your wife at a restaurant, uh-huh. and then this week um, you he can't get your crash. wife out to a nice restaurant to eat dinner, and you crash. I can't her get her into a restaurant. <laughs> well. It, it's just it's just kind of I don't know what to say about it. It is kind of funny. It's amazing you made it this long. Is that too mean? <laughs> so so that's all you've done in the last past week that was kind of geeky. Was you you crashed your car into a pole? Uh, actually, so while we were away, we started watching Lifetime videos, like Lifetime movies. Those things are hilarious. So this we, is what I know about Lifetime videos, because I've seen my wife watching these before, and it seems like the story is pretty much the same. Mm-hmm. The husband is a trash bag. Uh, he cheats on his wife. He beats her sometimes, and she gets revenge. Yeah, there's always there was always like a bad guy, and they're always they always have some like thing that makes them insane. And you know they're not going to win in the end. It's lifetime, but the the protagonist is always beaten up and and just does not have a good go of it throughout the entirety of the movie. And the protagonist always comes up big against the antagonist. Like they they always win, and it's just so cheesy. And there there has to be a whole geeky subculture that I don't know about that watches these videos and and comes up with their own theories and rumors it's great (laughs) that's good is that it oh that's it we're gonna talk about more geeky stuff later i'm just getting into what i did plenty of geeky stuff my turn so as you you may know maybe not uh i've been working my tail off on a new youtube series that i've been doing remarkably well oh thank you um, I've been putting up videos. I think I have like six of them up right now, five or six. I think it's six. I just put up one right before the show. And the YouTube series is called Star Wars Who's Who. And I basically tackle a smaller character in the Star Wars universe, someone that maybe you don't know a whole lot about, explain their canon backstory. And then I also go into the legends. I know the legends aren't canon anymore. They don't really mean too much to the the star wars canon now but i think they're kind of an interesting um look at what 
where they may go with some of these characters in the future, because a lot of times we, we can think of characters like Thrawn who were not initial were, were, were canon at one point, then Disney bought in, then they weren't canon, but now they're canon again. So some of these legend stories could eventually become canon in the future. They just aren't right now. So I've got, I, like I said, six of those up. I believe I did Figrin and Dan, Will Row Hood, Peo, um, Coleman Trebor, 8D8, and EV99. So I'm looking for comments on those and because I want to know who to do next. And if, if I don't hear anything in a couple days, I'll probably just pick a character and do one. But I'd love to be able to do one, ones for people that are interested in here and learning something about a character that they don't maybe know a lot about. And there was one that I didn't really know about who was the Jedi in Revenge of the... S- no, Attack of the Clones, who was killed pretty much immediately. Mm-hmm by Django Fett, and I asked Josh to do a video, he did, and I actually learned something. I learned that he was a member of the Jedi Council and just ticked me off. I really uh, yeah, I that's... really didn't like learning about this guy because I thought he was such a wuss, and then to find out he was a Jedi Master, it was like, what? No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was I mean, annoying. I don't think he was a wuss. I actually, every single one of these characters, you know, and I consider myself a Star Wars nerd fan, when I was a kid, I remember reading the Star Wars Encyclopedia. So I know a lot of these characters already, but I don't know everything about them. So every one of them, you're learning things that are really cool. And I really liked Coleman Trebor, um, learning about how there was another Jedi that he took over for the, on the council. And the reason they killed off that Jedi was because they thought that his look was too much like the com- the com- the cloners. What are the, how, the Caminos? Com- the com- com- Caminos. Caminos, yeah. That his look was too much like that. He had a long, thin neck. So they said, oh, we got to get rid of this guy. So he was around in Phantom Menace, and then he's just not there in Attack of the Clones. The reason he's not there is because they're like, we got to kill this guy off so that we can, they won't, he won't get confused with these cloners. And then to replace him, they, they made this guy Coleman Trebor, and he was the guy who replaced him on the council. But he, he died pretty quickly, too, um, very quickly. He was basically like the first fatality of the attack in that arena when um with a geonosis but right but if you believe robot chicken that council member what's his name the one with the long neck yariel poof yariel yes. poof yariel poof he's actually mm-hmm. still alive he went into hiding after order 66 and he's working as a chef or cook on the death star so well actually i guess he's dead then yeah <laughs> but he was alive right up until the death star so he actually could have helped obi-wan you know, hmm. Obi-Wan was there fighting Vader. He could have jumped up and helped now because he was serving sloppy joes in the mess hall. He couldn't help out. Well, here's the thing, though, with Robot Chicken. It's not really considered canon. So maybe I should make it into three categories. I could have canon, I could have legends, and then I could have the Robot Chicken canon. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that would be a little bit convoluted, though. But um, I have been having a lot of fun with it. So I got, I got um, Kyle, you suggested that I do Coleman Trebor. As soon after, while I was working on that one, another I got a, a, a commenter on YouTube named Avon Torres asked me to do IG88. So right away I started working on IG88, and then I got a commenter on YouTube that asked me to do Payo from Rogue One. So I was like boom boom for a while, but now I don't really have anything lined up. So I'd love to get some some comments on those YouTube channel that, those YouTube videos and see if I can get another character to work on for the next time. Well, you know who you have to do now. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're real proof. Yep. <laughs> Actually, there's been... I, I was kind of thinking, and I'm my next point is going to get into who I was thinking about doing if I don't get anyone else. It's actually a character from the Darth Vader comic series. Oh, so, okay. Because I, I, cause I've been really into Dr. the Darth... Afra. Well, that, I, don't, I think she's almost too main of a character. There's a guy in, in the, the uh, 2016 Darth Vader comic series named uh, Silo, and I, I was thinking about maybe doing one on him because he's really kind of a neat character. But that goes into my next, what I've been doing in the last week, which is I finished reading volume three of the 2016 Darth Vader comic series, and I ordered volume four. So in the past, when I get really into something like Right now, I'm really into reading these these comic book series. Um, I'll go crazy and I'll buy like a ton of books, and then I, I'll only partially finish any of them. This time, I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. I am going to get one, finish it, and then I'll order the next. 
So that's what I've been doing. So I, I did it. It's a slower way because now like I'm done volume three and I really want volume four and I don't have it here. But it's the way that ensures that I'm actually going to read them and finish them. So Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. Um, so I ordered volume four and that's the last one of the 2016 run. And, and then from there I'll, I'll get into some, another one, another Star Wars series. So I really like the way that Marvel's doing those were really good. So, and then I wanted to do an update on movie pass. I know this isn't really what I did last week, but it's my friend, Tim, who's the one that turned us on to the idea of movie pass. He actually got his movie pass card in the mail and as of a couple days ago he had seen already two movies in consecutive days so he went and saw geostorm and then he went and saw that movie about the firefighters called only the brave and Mm -hmm. he saw that like literally one day after the other had no issues with it said it went really smoothly very easy to use and he was excited about Getting it. And I'm, I bet if I asked him today, he had probably had seen a few more even. Um, but it made me a little bit more willing to try it, I'd say. And I know, Kyle, that you've actually been kind of giving it second thoughts. Yeah, just because uh, I think it'd be pretty good as a geek set or a team to go watch movies and then be able to break them down as a group. Yeah, I agree. Do some movie I, reviews. Yeah. And I know that... Month, um, in November, we have a couple movies coming out. In December, there's a bunch of movies coming out. So maybe this is the time to really do it if you're going to do it. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I think so. I got two I want to see next month. So besides that, I uh, forgot to mention this initially, but I, I, I put it in my notes that I did watch the first two episodes of Rebels. As did I. And uh, did they, the third one's not out yet, right? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I, I'll have to watch that one. I actually, uh, and Chase, what did you think? I'm, I'm guessing, Kyle, you watched them, right? Yes, I have. Okay. Did you love them? I wasn't loving them. I didn't love these first two. I thought they were okay. I, I like what they're building to. Yeah. I thought they were okay, except for the end of the second episode, where Sabine recodes the weapon to attack just clone armor. Yeah. Right after she said, it can't be done. Yeah. And she did it flawlessly. She didn't take any extra research time. It was just spur on the moment. Oh, hey, look, <laughs> I clicked a couple buttons. Now I own you. Yeah. Like, I, was, I thought that was a little stupid. My friend and I were complaining about that together. Yeah. But other than that, it was, it's nice to have Rebels back. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad Rebels is back. I think it's a, it was a little funny that it only attacked their armor. So, like, literally, mm-hmm. if they took off their armor, they were impervious to it. It's yep. and then when when someone mentioned that like why don't you just change your armor they're like no we're a Mandalorians we can't do that it's like so you'd rather die than yeah. than take off your armor I <laughs> mm-hmm. guess that means Mandalorians are pretty stupid <laughs> I don't know <laughs> like they're stupid but they're cool yeah they are cool but stupid I mean real stupid because give me a break I'm sorry like yeah. Take off your armor. It's going to save your life. No, I'm not yeah. going to do that. Give me a break. I don't know. That was kind of lame. Well, it's but, old armor. Yeah, but it didn't mean they yeah. had to take it off forever. Just take it off so they could beat this stupid thing and then put it back on. Which I never understood the point of armor in Star Wars anyway, because no matter what, no one's no one gets saved from a blaster hit. Yeah, you true. watch all these stormtroopers that have these this you know fancy expensive armor, and it takes one shot and they're dead. Yeah. So it's, and you can see the Mandalorians you know, when they're having all those battles, one of them gets shot and they're down and out. I, I never understood that in Star Wars in general. <laughs> you know, if the uh, clones didn't need this expensive armor, that would have saved the Republic tons of money. Yeah. And there wouldn't have been a, as big an argument in the Senate over the war because you wouldn't have been wasting as much funds. Yeah. It- this conversation reminds me of uh, a couple memes I saw on the internet the other day. Oh, One man. of them was like a whole line. It was a cartoon. It was a whole line of star uh, stormtroopers at a urinal, and they're all going to the bathroom, and all of them are missing the urinal and hitting the wall. Oh goodness! <laughs> Except for one, and Vader is like in the back, like watching him, and he's like, "I think we have a traitor in our midst." <laughs> that cracked me up. And then the other one was. Uh, this, this stormtrooper who's getting attacked by a Jedi. It's a cartoon as well. And there's another j- little uh, stormtrooper there. And he's like, son, shoot him. 
And then you see like this, the son pull up his gun and he shoots and he misses and hits the wall. And the father is like, that's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of funny. All right. So what else did you have, Chase? Because that's all I had. Um, yeah, so I had I had that in my show notes to talk about, but other than that, I didn't really do anything nerdy or geeky recently. Uh, this entire past weekend for me was just doing sports and physical activity that I am regretting right now because I'm super sore. We've disc- we decided earlier on that sports are geeky because because um, you can have a, you know a sports fan who knows all the stats mm-hmm. and all that stuff. That's pretty geeky. Um, and also we get into the, the fantasy football and stuff and the yes. fantasy sports. That's very geeky. But how, how's your team's doing fantasy wise? I'm very happy cause I had Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, I yeah, started Ezekiel Elliott and this week. I've been starting Amari Cooper and people have been making fun of me cause he's been doing nothing oh. and then he puts up 200 yards and two touchdowns and I'm like, yeah, okay. You can shut your face now. Did you have him so. in your lineup? Yeah, I had oh, started good. him. Uh, at least you started yep. him. Because I, yeah, I, so I thought I, you were going to say, I sat him, because that's like me, well, what I did with Tyreek Hill, who ended up getting 18 points. I sat him because he had like a couple down weeks, and I'm like, ah, I'll sit him. And then, you know, I'm going to lose this week because of that decision, but whatever. In one of my other leagues, the kid has Amari Cooper benched. Oh, so that was unfortunate yeah, for him. Hurts. But I'm going to win all of my games this week. I won all of them last week, too. So finally starting to get on a roll for the season. It's, you know, a little late. I'm only in but one league, and I'm not a, too far out. I have a 500 so. team, so I'm not very good. Yeah, all my teams are above 500 right now, oh, so that's, that's, that's something. Yeah. What about you, Kyle? Are you playing this year? Yeah, you are. I know you are. You're doing well? I'm doing okay. I think I just slipped to 5-2. Um, and two. I'm going to lose this week, but I'm hopeful for the rest of the season. I don't think I think we'll be all right. It's pretty top-heavy. I don't know. You and I were talking, Kyle. Did you actually end up making any of those trades that you wanted to make? Yeah, I locked up um, the Dolphins receiver. Jarvis Landry? Yeah. Oh, nice. So it's like I lost this week, but I know I have a pretty good team that's going to be there deep in the playoffs. Nice. Yeah, Very good. I ha- Oops, yeah, sorry. I, I'm not going get, to get into it, but I'm pretty pretty confident. <laughs> oh, this guy. All right, so that concludes that segment. So let's move on. But first, let's get a word from one of our friends. This segment is brought to you by... Preventure Service Company. Got a major renovation you need done? Armin's been doing it all since 1981. For fast and friendly service, contact Preventure at gsinet.net. In our next segment, which we call Fan Theories, we discuss theories that we found on the internet that we just can't get enough of. And we're going to start with you, Kyle. What'd you find? All right, guys. Guess what? What? It's theory time. What? Mm-hmm. So what are we going to talk yes, about? Yes, that's what Josh just said. Star that, Wars, probably. It, good Good point, Chase. Yes, we're going to talk about Star Wars. My theory has to do with the Jedi Council that was around for the prequels. And okay. how Yoda and Mace Windu were actually gray Jedi who knew that they needed to continue to grow in power to be able to defeat the threat of the Sith. Mm-hmm. They, they realized that the other Jedi would not agree with this, so they just kept it between themselves and perhaps Obi-Wan. But they actually influenced the naming of Jedi Council members between the two or three of them in order to siphon off their power. Uh, And that's why you get knockoff Jedi Masters like Coleman Trabor and Yaddle and others on the Jedi Council. And they keep other stronger Jedi off like Anakin. Hmm. So we get a high turnover of Jedi Council members, and I think that in the wings, uh, Yoda and Mace Windu have always been there to siphon off that power and grow stronger to be able to break off the Sith threat. Look at how easy, um, when Mace Windu went to fight Palpatine, he took Sacy Tin, Igan, Kolar, and Kit Fisto. They all de- were dead within like five seconds. Yeah, it was quick. Yeah. So not yes. only did Mace Windu use Shatterpoint, but he was able to siphon off their power once they, he knew they would die quickly, siphoned off their power to be able to beat Palpatine. And the kid that they left off the council, Anakin, shows up, and that's why he dies. Hmm. Coleman Trebor, he was killed so easily by Jango Fett, but look who killed him after, Mace Windu. Mace Windu sip- siphoned off Coleman's power. Shock T. Now, she's one that unfortunately was just dumb enough to be meditating when Darth Vader was attacking the 
um, Jedi Temple, so nobody got to siphon off her power, but she's, yeah, she was just dumb. Um, and that's, that's, that's the kind of council they kept on the, on the Jedi Council. That's the kind of people they wanted around. That's how Shakti died? Shakti died from Vader? Killed her? Yeah, yeah there's a deleted scene um, from Revenge that's of the Sith where she's, she's um, yep. editing. Sorry, go ahead then. Oh, really? Because I know she died. Didn't she die in a deleted scene, though, in another one? That's... I think I'm thinking of the one that Josh is thinking of, where she was killed Dooku? on. Didn't the... Dooku kill her? Oh, no, she's killed you're by right. Grievous. 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 Yeah, you're right. In the she, deleted scene. She was so dumb. She she died multiple times in that movie. I was just wondering scene. though, can we consider death in a deleted scene as canon? Because she. I don't think so. Because they killed. Didn't they kill Jar Jar in a deleted scene, and then he was still back in the next episode? Well, uh, Wikipedia's canon side shows that's how shock t died was by vader oh okay and i i i do i mean i know wikipedia can have flaws but i for for, for as far as I, i'm concerned it is pretty much there like the next best thing to actually getting it from starwars.com like they do a really good job putting together all the information but um, I think your your theory is kind of interesting, and it made me actually think I know who I want to do next. Ooh, yeah, Yaddle. I forgot about huh. Yaddle. I want to sure. know more about Yaddle myself. Well, there you go. Well, Yaddle was easy to get on the council because it's like Yoda pretended that they had a thing. Like they go, we go back. We're in the same species. Yay! But no, it's because you're a terrible Jedi, and if you die, I can siphon off your power to stave off the threat of the Sith. She doesn't survive into she the didn't Attack of the Clones. Into episode did she? two. Yeah, she was just in um, Phantom Menace. I want to know what happened to her. Yeah, so I like your. I like your theory, Kyle, and I think I think definitely Obi Wan is in on it because Obi Wan is one of those people who stays on the council. And like you're saying, when you see this kind of you know transition from all these different masters that you know keep dying for stupid reasons, and Obi Wan stays through it, and he's always in these meetings with just Yoda and Mace and whatever. Yeah, I think he's definitely part of that group. Yeah, I like and, it. You know, Qui Gon might have been too. Yes, that's what from... I was just gonna say. Go go with that. Go there with you. that. Qui Gon's a gray uh, Jedi. You're saying? Yeah, he doesn't uh, seem very gray. Made... People have seen said that he was a great Jedi before, um, and just in the fact that he taught Obi Wan. I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe make that connection. No, keep but. going with that because he taught Obi Wan, right? I, th- yeah. I think Qui Gon was not on the council specifically for that reason, because they liked was Qui Gon even on the council. I didn't no. think that he was on the council. No, he was not on the council for that reason. Yeah, because they didn't want to siphon off his power. He was he was a great Jedi like them. Mm-hmm. I like it, but I don't think you're going to get any... And you can make that play that that's why Obi-Wan was able to beat uh, Maul, was siphoning off the power of Obi-Wan, or of uh, Qui-Gon. Wow. Mind blown. (laughs) There you go. Anything else to your theory? Or is that it? it? All right, cool. So I got another Star Wars theory as well. It's not as much as a... Yeah, I guess it's kind of a theory. So Star Wars, The Last Jedi trailer came out, and we know that in our last episode we talked a lot about it. But now that it's been out for a little while, it's starting to be translated into different languages. So it was translated into Taiwanese, like probably many other languages. And if you know anything about languages, you may know that many different languages will use different words describing or or when a person is talking to a person of a different gender. So they may use um, different words if they're speaking to a female or if they're speaking to a male. Well, in the subtitles of the Taiwanese trailer for Last Jedi, there was some of that included. Now, this could just totally be translation errors, but it could also be subtle hints as to what to expect. So the first one, when Snoke says... When I found you, I saw raw, untamed power. The way that was worded in Taiwanese denotes that he was speaking to a female. So that gives you the idea that when he says that, when I found you, I saw raw, untamed power, that he was probably talking to Ray, according to the subtitles. Then, when he said, fulfill your destiny, he was speaking to a male. So possibly, most likely, 
Kylo Ren. Now, the only, I guess with the first one, when I saw you, I saw Raw untapped power. There is the possibility they could be talking about to Phasma, right? Phasma works for the First Order. But I don't know that she has the type of raw, untamed power yeah. that Ray does. I'm thinking when he says that's the raw and untamed power, he's talking to Ray. When he says fulfill your destiny, he's talking to uh, Kylo Ren. Now, when Luke said, this is not going to go the way you think, he was speaking to a male. So he was not speaking to Ray. According to the subtitles, if we believe into this, buy into this theory of the, the, the Taiwanese subtitles, <laughs> he was not speaking to Ray. He was speaking to a male. Could he have been speaking to a force ghost? Could he have been speaking to Yoda? I think he could, I think he could be speaking Kylo to maybe Ray. Finn or something, because you see Finn mm-hmm. go chasing after Phasma at the end of that trailer. Yeah. Maybe Finn is trying to go... A, try and maybe rescue Ray or something. Mm-hmm. And Luke warns him, like Yoda warned him in Episode Five. Hey, you're not ready for this. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm just. So I'm. I, I'm fashion. wondering if he's talking to a Force ghost, like Yoda, like Anakin. We we kind of is kind of confirmed, right? That um, Anakin is going to be in this one to some extent, whether it's through flashback or it's through Force ghost. Yeah, if you remember yeah. from our last episode, we yeah. had the uh, poster right up there. There was Darth Vader's helmet. So I'm pretty sure. But going off of that, when the title for The Last Jedi was released, in some languages it was singular, and in others it was plural, and there was a lot of debate. So in some of those languages, they went back and changed it so it would be plural. From singular, really? yeah. Mm-hmm. So I would watch these subtitles. If if there's a certain article or something you read, I would mm-hmm. wait to see if there's any follow ups to see if these subtitles are changed because that would give us some indication. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that about the plural and singular, and that is interesting because you know the word Jedi is one of those words. It does not necessarily mean one. The last Jedi could be plural it's not jedis it's jedi so i don't know it's it it is interesting i think they really they thought about it when they picked this title and knew it was going to drive us all nuts and it's exactly what they wanted and it's work it's it was a pretty good idea it really was because you got so many theories swirling around and there's a buzz about this movie and that's what you want when you're you when you get a blockbuster coming out Mm -hmm. you want people talking about it oh yeah. yeah i'm talking about it Oh, yeah. Almost every time. Every since. time yeah. we have an episode, I'm talking about it. Yep. So that's all that I had to that theory. Do you buy into the fact that it is translated correctly and that we're getting hints? Or do you think uh, it could be an error in translation? I think it could be either, honestly. Because um, you have the point that, you know, uh, Kyle just brought out where they had to change some of the the subtitling or the translations before. But at the same time, no matter what, this is going to tell us if they fix it, then we know, oh, okay, then this scene is actually talking about a male or a female. And if they don't, then you still have the proof, okay, then it's talking to a male or female. So whether or not they fix it, they're giving us a hint yeah. whether they like it or not. All right, yeah, so I guess we're going to be sticking with Star Wars then. Because uh, I've got the part of the trailer where Luke is talking to the camera and he says, I've seen this power once before. It didn't scare me then, but it scares me now. So I saw somebody who theorized that he's actually talking about himself. And it's playing back to the scene in episode 5 and 6 where he's fighting Vader. And he uses his emotions to, you know, kind of make himself more powerful. Um, And so in this, maybe he's seeing that transformation of himself again. He's like, this didn't scare me the first time, but now I know the kind of power that it has and it does scare me. So that's just the theory that I like. Hmm. I'm like, I like the idea that he could be talking to himself. Yeah, I like that. Yep. I could buy that. Like, in a mirror, like he's going crazy? I think we, we kind of get the idea from the fact that he's been a hermit on this island for all these years, that he's kind of gone a little crazy, right? He's got it's a like touch of the crazy. Old Ben was on Tatooine, yeah. hidden in a corner. Yoda was hidden on his own little planet. Yeah. Yoda was, like, yeah. fun crazy, though. <laughs> mine, mine, mine. Yeah, he was like the crazy old man you <laughs> tell stories about. 
old Obi-Wan was like the crazy old man you're afraid of. Like, don't go into old man Ben's yard. He'll <laughs> eat you. <laughs> he, he knows how to do a mean Tusken Raider scare. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So that's all you guys got? Yep. Yep. That's all I got, too. So uh, we hope you liked our theories. But now on to our next segment. But before we do that, let's get a word from our friends. This segment is brought to you by Fryhofer Septic Design. The name to know before you go. Call now. Dial 603-209-1221 to make your business our business. All right, and now for our next segment, News and Rumors, oh my, where we're going to talk about some of the geeky news and rumors that we dug up in the past week. So we'll start with you, Kyle. What do you have? All right, let's talk about Justice League. DC Shared Movie Universe is is getting its second team-up movie. So this should actually be Justice League Part B, Justice League 2, but no, it's just Justice League. Well, Justice League movie has gotten its runtime, and it's going to be an hour and 20 minutes or just over. There's a lot of debate over the, the length of the movie, and I don't know what the big arguments are for or against but i like it i'm okay with it i think blockbuster movies can run long even the good ones can give you that are we there yet feeling i remember the first time i was like i can't believe this movie isn't over was when i was watching um return of the king which was Mm -hmm. a hobbit movie a uh uh, um fellowship what's it called lord of the rings lord of the rings lord of the rings return of the king like that's the Mm -hmm. first time i got that I actually got that a little bit the first time I watched Star Wars The Force Awakens. I know, I know, blasphemy. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, but like they were flying to Octu and I was just like, all right. Well, actually, I think it was more of a Luke's clearly not going to get much in this movie. What about Ava- Avatar? At that point, like, this, it's too long. He's not going to get much. Like, we better get something big. And it was, it was. It was not very big what we got from Luke. <laughs> you, you got a um, moment of silence. Yeah. So and awkward I, staring. Right. And then we're, I guess in this movie we're gonna have a moment of silence for Princess Leia. Um, <laughs> that's a dark joke. I, I'm sorry. But anyways, uh, long <laughs> movies, um, even even good ones can feel long. Then with Justice League. Can, oh, sorry, sorry can I cut in oh, for yeah. a minute? Um, you you said an hour and twenty minute runtime. So I know Ooh. you meant a hundred and twenty minute runtime. Right, hundred and twenty minutes, yeah. two hours. Yeah, yeah, two hours. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and then there's a rumor. Well, it's not really a rumor, is it? People are asking. Uh, well, is Superman going to be in the film? He's in the film. He's teased <laughs> in some of the, in the trailers. But why? Why? Why does it feel like they're teasing Superman? This is stupid. This is a stupid franchise. It's so transparent what they're doing. They're transparent as transparent can be. Superman's going to be in the movie. They have a trailer with Aquaman, Cyborg, The Flash, Batman, Wonder Woman. No Superman. But then in the in the language below, they sneak in everybody's little symbol. You know, Batman has the bat mm-hmm. symbol. And there's a Superman symbol in it. Like, ooh, ooh, I wonder if <laughs> Superman's going to be in this movie. Ah, like, <laughs> stupid. It's a Justice League movie. This 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 whole franchise is built on the backs of Batman and Superman, and you're going to play around like, ooh, maybe Superman's not going to be in this. It'll be such a surprise. Fans will go crazy when they finally see Superman's in. No. Stop it. <laughs> you guys want to tease something? Tease Green Lantern. Tease this is not surprising. Else. It's DC. It's DC. They do stupid things. I know. It's just frustrating. I don't get it. I know. Nobody, nobody there is making a good creative choice. In fact, I just watched Wonder Woman, which was a fairly good movie. But Wonder Woman is so naive. She speaks like hundreds of languages and and, and fails to pick up on 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 common things throughout the movie. And then it it's just ridiculous. You she you feel like she's just this little girl lost in a big world. But no, she she's she's Wonder Woman. I mean, come on. It's so frustrating what they're doing with these movies. I don't know why they think they're even going to try to rival Marvel and what Marvel is doing. Go back to the basics. Yeah, you know, I know what you mean. It, it is irritating. I am actually haven't seen the Wonder Woman movie, but would you recommend it? Yeah, watch it. It's, it's, it's really not terrible. I liked it. 
Um, mm-hmm. it's, it just wasn't great. You know what I'm looking forward to watching again? I know I saw it already, but Spider-Man Homecoming came out on DVD this week. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing that again. I know we talked about it in our first episode ever. We did a great debate on the first Sp- the, the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. So yes, that's how did. long we've, we, we're, we've been doing this I now. Won. Is that a movie in the theater is now on DVD. Whatever that means. It, mean, it means we've been doing this for a while. I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm like 5-0 and oh in our debates. So it's pretty, pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's keeping score? I am. Luke. Luke is keeping score. <laughs> yeah, right. That takes too much time. He, he keeps a little list under his pillow of all the arguments <laughs> he has. And he's angry because there are five little check marks he's had, he has next to my name where he lost. <laughs> and it eats at him. So is that all you have for news? Oh, that's all I have. Wasn't that a great okay. tirade? No, I, I really enjoyed it, actually. I, lo- I like the Kyle that goes on tirades. That yes. is my favorite Kyle. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> As long as you, you you leave me out of it, when you start you start saying stuff about Jar Jar and you drag me in, it gets bad. Hey, Jar Jar is great comic relief, and you admitted it last week. Uh, last week? Yep. Did I? Was it last week? I admitted that. I gotta listen. I haven't listened to that that episode yet. That's. Right. I can't remember what I said last week. I can't even remember what I said. We're ten plugging ago. episode seven and episode eight. Go back and listen, guys. <laughs> uh, so I got a couple things that I found. Um, First off, Lex Luthor appears like he will be making his return with Justice League as a secondary villain. Did you know this? Uh, I, I did not, but I'm, I'm sure I will be shocked and amazed <laughs> when, I, when I see him. I will not have expected it at all. So apparently he's going to be kind of a secondary villain as Steppenwolf has already been kind of named as the big bad main baddie. So yeah, like we're getting some Lex Luthor. I, I can't really say too much of this because I did not see Batman vs. Superman. Uh, I don't even know if I saw the Superman movie. So I'm just not a DC guy. But uh, So all you DC fans out there, it looks like you're going to be getting some Lex Luthor with your Justice League movie. So um, And then uh, I got other news. That little boy in Iron Man 3, you remember him? He was kind of a geeky little kid that helped Iron Man fix his suit. Well, he's going to be back... In some sort of role for Avengers 4. And uh, if you forgot his, his character's name, it was Harley Keener. So Harley Keener is going to be back in Avengers 4. Is he going to play Iron Lad? Maybe. Is there such a thing? I don't even know. Is Iron Lad a real thing or are you just yeah. making that up? No. There it is? Yeah. Okay. It could be. Maybe that's where they're going with it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. is kind of old. Yeah. And then, in other news, Aquaman wrapped up filming, according to James Wan, on Twitter. So, if you're excited about Aquaman, I guess you can uh, be more excited, because it's coming soon. Yeah, Aqu- Aquaman, huh? He's, uh, I, he- I heard they, they didn't have to film very long. It's like 45 minutes of a still frame of Jason Momoa's pecs, and then another 30 minutes of some stupid story. Oh... <laughs> uh. You're really on fire tonight, aren't you? In case you can't tell, Kyle, it's not like DC. Not tonight. Right now, he's not like, yeah, not tonight. He does like DC, but not tonight. You know, I I wouldn't even mind if we went to see Justice League and they said, we've decided as an organization that this movie was going to be terrible, so we've recanted the entire story and we're going to screen two hours of the Super Friends. When is Justice League coming out? I don't know. Don't care. Uh, let me look. <laughs> well, no, I'm curious because if I, the only way I'm seeing it is if I get Movie Pass and I can go see it after I've already seen something I really want to see. I kind of want to watch two hours of the Super Friends now. Super Friends was great. <laughs> well, I'm curious. Um, November seventeenth. Oh, see, Justice League's coming out in November. So if I get Movie Pass for November, I already know I want to see Ragnarok. I can see Justice League and feel like I saw it. And didn't have to pay anything. Okay. I'm down with that. Let's do it. Okay. And then um, I got some other news. Stranger Things news. Stranger Things 2 released a really cool vintage style movie poster. And you can find it on our Twitter and our website and pretty much everywhere else on the web. (laughs) But we did post it to it on our Twitter and our website. Because it's really cool looking. And uh, just in case you forgot, Stranger Things 2 comes out October 27th. And it's a Netflix exclusive. Now, here's so the big question for that season. Uh-huh. 
is Eleven wearing another wig, or does she really have curly hair? Oh, that is a good question. I'm thi- I'm hoping it's a wig because if it's curl, if she- her hair looks like that, it's kind of distracting. Yeah, it's a little Barry Goldbergish. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. It's like the Barry Goldberg when in the recently he was trying to make his hair bigger. Did you see that episode? Yep. <laughs> I love that show. It cracks me up. But anyways, Stranger Things. Really excited about that. I could if I actually had the desire to. You have no desire to watch it, huh? It would require effort, and that is... It's pretty good. Chase. I mean, I think it's pretty good. Watching TV requires the least effort of anything. Do you like... Did you like the Goonies? Oh, man. When was the last time I even saw that? Oh, my goodness. What is wrong with you? I watch that, like, every week. Oh, man. No, it's been so long since I've seen that. That's probably been six, seven years. I don't even know what to say. Well, anyways, we'll move on because Chase doesn't watch Stranger Things. Hey, you have no right to say anything about me not seeing Psych. Except that Psych was actually good. Did you say because Psych is actually good? Stranger yes. Things has got way more buzz around it than Psych. Well, that's because Psych ended like two years ago. Oh, really? Does Stranger Things have a movie? It is a movie, pretty much. Man, it's so good. Anyways, did you guys hear about EA? What they did? They shut the doors on Visceral Games. And Visceral Games was making an uncharted style star wars game that we were all very excited for so what's going to happen well i love how you ask if we heard but also we're very confident that we are all excited for the game you weren't excited for this i didn't know anything about it (laughs) i hadn't heard it are you serious well you asked me if i've heard so i uh, no i have not i'm trying to build suspense okay and you're doing a terrible job in helping me Oh. No, actually, yeah, I heard about that. It's terrible. I was I, I I had been reading up on all the latest reviews, news, and rumors on that what? um Star Wars game and I I'm sh- shell shocked. Oh boy. Well, anyways, if you were like me, looking forward to an uncharted style Star Wars game, you're going to be disappointed, it seems. Or maybe not. Uh. Maybe they're going to move it to another studio. I don't know. I don't understand EA and some of the decisions they make at Nobody all. understands EA. Yeah, Nobody yeah. the Madden franchise it's is just... terrible. It's oh, never going to All of their money. sports franchises are terrible. The only sports franchise that was that people actually like is 2K. And I have 2K. I don't know if that's true. I mean, I think the Madden well, franchise people like. Hey, people it, like, but... It makes, I'm being ironic. MLB it sh- makes tons of money. I, MLB fist. The Show, I think, does pretty well, too, and that's an EA title. I mean, EA does... I just don't understand some of their decision-making. And this is one of them. I guess they must have been hemorrhaging money somewhere, and they decided to cut it loose. I just hope they don't kill the, fr- the kill the whole idea, because I was excited about that. A stand, It was going to be its own Star Wars... I think it was being rumored that it was going to be canon story, single-player, you know, action-adventure in the Star Wars universe. That was really exciting. Yeah. It was gonna uh-huh. be great. I'm I'm sincerely disappointed, and I can't believe it. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> You're the worst. I think if uh, they turn it over to Unreal, it could be great. I don't even know whether to take you serious or not. I'm trying to help you build suspense. <laughs> You're not helping. Uh, uh, well, that's all I have for news. And Chase, do you have anything? I don't think I, you do. I don't have anything this week. Okay, I'm. Lazy and behind, behind the, the times. News. Yeah, I guess so. It really well, just drives me nuts because EA... You know, Chase, to get some news, you should listen to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> EA what? What are you getting mad about about EA? No. Don't get, give me your fake angry... Because EA, if they just looked and realized, oh, we have something that says Star Wars in the title, it's going to make gobs and gobs of money. I know. Yeah. Why are they pulling the plug? I don't know. It makes no sense. Well, I mean, I guess they never said they pulled the plug on the game. They said they pulled the plug on the studio that was making the game. Fine. So I don't know what that means. Does that mean that the game could get transferred to another studio and continue production? Yeah, so here's here's my worry about that is if this game has already been started, then they switch it to another studio. The programmers are going to be completely different. They're not going to have the same story in mind, and they're not going to have the same coding, the same game style in mind, and it's going to end up with a lot of bugs. 
And that's something that EA is famous for, is having games with a lot of bugs. Oh, don't worry, though. If you pay more, you can get the bugless edition. Uh. <laughs> that adds two different bugs. It just it shifts shifts where the bug is. Yeah. That's that's EA for you. Jeez, that's Whatever. what you bring to this channel. <laughs> that's something what? I would have never lots thought of. Lots of lots of bugs in different places. No, I mean, the, the, <laughs> the the coding aspect. I don't know. No, that well, you probably need somebody else for cuz I don't know a lot. All right. So that's all I have. That's all Kyle has and Chase is out of stuff. So we're going to wrap that segment. But first, a word from our friends. This segment is brought to you by Awkward Adult Men. Find them everywhere at Geek Cetera. Two for one at Geek Cetera. In our next segment, which we call Trashy Trailers, we get to talk about different trailers that we've seen in the past week. And I'm going to start. And I'm going to stay with what I was talking about in our last segment, Stranger Things. Stranger Things 2 came out with a new trailer. You may have seen it because it's had a couple spots on TV. And it looks awesome. It looks so good. I can't even wait for October 27th. I obviously saw it because I know so much about Stranger Things. They played it on on Sunday Night Football last night, towards the beginning of the game. Did you watch the Patriots? Chase doesn't Sunday watch Night Sunday Night Football because it requires too much effort. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't watch. Did you watch the game? Yeah, I watched the game. Of course it was I watched in the, the first game. Qu- it's the Patriots. Well, they did play it during the first quarter of the Patriots game. So you claim? Um, no, I'm I'm telling you, they did. <laughs> but you should check that out. But that's all I saw. I I'm really excited for that movie or that. TV show or whatever it is. What is it? It's not even a movie. It's not a TV show. It's kind of like its own thing. A mini series. It's a Netflix original. Because they call it Stranger Things 2. Like it's it's a second movie, but it really is a second uh, season. Yeah. And they're going to make four seasons, right? They've already come out and said they're going to do four right. seasons. So that, so that means, I don't know. What about you, Kyle? What did you see? All right. So I'm going to go back to fall TV and I've been watching The Flash season four. Boo. I know. And funny little piece of trivia, Flash rhymes with trash, and (laughs) that's what this season is. I've been watching it, and as a disclaimer, I'm going to keep watching it because it's like, oh, it's it's like when you're hungry, and you you go to the fridge or the cabinet, Mm. and you don't have any snacks to eat. Except for like the veggie chips that your wife bought to make you healthier, and that's the only thing that's there, so you're gonna eat them, and you eat the whole bag. <laughs> I I like your I like where you're going with that, but I don't think it's per I don't think it's because I like veggie chips, so it'd have to be like when you when you're hungry and you go to the fridge and there's nothing to eat. So you eat so soap chips? You literally eat like you put like ketchup on white bread and you just eat that. <laughs> Cuz that's what it is. It is it's garbage. It is, but it's uh at the same time but it's it, so But at the same time it good. fills you up, right? So Yeah, cuz you're like, "Oh, I haven't had ketchup in a while and I love Wonder Bread." <laughs> And you yeah. eat it, and you, you eat until you're full, and then you keep going because it's just, you can't stop. And that's how I am with The Flash. I'm going to keep watching it. I like I like The Flash. He's one of my favorite superheroes, and despite all the trash, there's still stuff to come back for. But anyways, here's what I hate so far. Terrible writing. <laughs> Terrible use of Wally. Couples therapy. Iris is leading the team. We had a season to build the Speed Force cannon, but only 10 minutes to develop an unexplained solution to free Barry from the Speed Force, because that makes so much sense. Also, Caitlin apparently is the Incredible Hulk of the DC Universe, because she can control her powers at a will now. She goes into her Killer Frost mode, and then she's not, and she's nice. But then she's angry, and she's Killer Frost again, and you won't like her when she's angry. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I just hate it. Cisco. Cisco, by the way, he must hate Wally because Wally's been fighting crime with him for months and he didn't upgrade Wally's suit, but he upgraded Barry and Barry's is pretty much dead. He's been dead for like three months, but no, that suit is going to sit around just getting all these upgrades while Wally doesn't get anything. Uh, I think there's some disparagement. I don't know what it is, but Cisco is a jerk. Also, there's been no return of any variation of the Harrison Wells. We've had a Wells in seasons one, two, three. Where's my season four Wells? I love Wells. Also, Iris is back to her season one, the me, me, me's. It's all about her and she's drama and crying. And, uh, stop it. 
<laughs> also, all the relationship issues that happened in episode two were just were were, were just rid- ridiculous. I said couples therapy earlier, but Barry and Iris is it, it, it's just ridiculous. And then Gypsy and Cisco, and she keeps coming back and forth. And that's another thing I hate. She can pretty much come and go as she pleases now, but. It used to be like a, a very high offense for her to go from any different Earth, um, unless she was tracking down a baddie. But now she can just do it because the writers say she can. Great. Also, Caitlin doesn't have a failed romantic relationship yet, but she's due for one since it's a new season. She's had one in every single season where, yes, I have this great relationship, and this guy now he's dead, or now he's gone, or now he's going back to England. Doesn't matter. It's season. <laughs> it's season four. So where's the relationship so we can all bag on it by the end? And this is Kyle's wow. uh, resume for cinema sins. Yeah, this is Kyle, the Kyle I love. And uh, just so you know, that's only two episodes in. We're due for a season, and when Luke comes back, can't wait to talk to him about it. If Luke comes back, oh, he'll. We don't know what back. happened to Luke. So Maybe. I, I think I did the math on that, and he's due for an episode. He's overdue, for sure. Yeah. He's in the Upside Down, I think. He is in the Upside Down. So that's all That's all I got. I mean, I just and it's only two episodes in, but so many things about The Flash are driving me crazy, but I'm still going to watch it. I'm happy that you were able to string together that tirade, because that was awesome. Yes. <laughs> so what about you, Chase? What did you watch? I feel like I've probably talked about this before, but I still love the Murder on the Orient Express trailer. So that's a movie on the book by Agatha Christie, and I'm very excited for it. That's actually one of the few movies that I'm going to go see in theaters, and I'm excited to go see, aside from Star Wars. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to that, too. I like Agatha Christie. I'm a fan yeah, of her writing. Her books are so great. I'm hoping that maybe this will get them doing a whole, you know, more of her stuff, because I really like Ten Little Indians, or uh, what was the American name? And then there was one. And, and then there were none. Or And then there were none. That's it. Yeah, that that's a great book, so... Hopefully that this kind of reinvigorates some interest in her. Yeah, one of the things I liked about the trailer is you know that it's a murder mystery because it's Agatha Christie. And they are leading you right towards the mob leader. And they make you want to hate him so much in the trailer. And it confuses you because you don't... You, they're telling you, hey, look, this is the guy that you're going to think did it. <laughs> and because of that, you know, they're getting with the reverse psychology really like, they're trying to get at it so hard that I don't think he's the killer. <laughs> and so it's just, it's already, it just in the trailer, it's already leading you into the whole murder mystery thing, which I love. I think it's going to be great. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Do we have a date on that? It's the 10th, I want to say. The 10th or the 3rd. Of what? Of November. Oh, that soon? Oh, I definitely got to get it for, for November then. November 10th, you're right. Oh, wow. So then Ragnarok is the 3rd, and then the 17th is um, Justice League. That's a pretty good month right there in a row. Yeah. Pretty and if lineup. the Uncle Drew movie came out that month, it'd be a solid <laughs> oh month. I mean, goodness. we're talking just hit after hit after hit. Is Black Panther this year or is that next year? Next year. Well, those are the trailers that we saw. And uh, let us know what you guys are looking forward to in the comments section or, or send us an email. Because we want to, and if we're missing some trailers that we should be we should be checking out, let us know. And we'll definitely check those out. But we're going to move into a, actually, we're going to have a, a great debate. I don't know how great it's going to be, but it's gonna, we're going to definitely debate. Um, and we have an interesting title or, 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 or a topic for this one. It's who's the top female hero in Star Wars? So back initially, really, you only had, what, one choice, Leia? The original trilogy, you had Leia. That was pretty much it. And then they added Padme. So then you had Leia or Padme. Who's better? Mother or daughter. Now we got two more in relatively quick succession. Uh, we now have Jin and Ray, who are both very strong contenders for top hero in a Star Wars film. So what do you think, Kyle? Who's your number one pick for a female hero in Star Wars? So I'm just not a big fan of Jin. I think she faded into the background of the cast of characters. I, I don't think there was any one character that was a standout from that whole Rogue One movie, even though that movie was great. Mm-hmm. Except for K2SO. Yeah. I, 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 I like K2. He's the standout character because he's hilarious. Yeah. But I liked um, Chirrut as well in Baze. Chirrut too, yes. Yeah, and I do too. I think Chirrut is my favorite of them all, but I still mm-hmm. think they kind of just they f- they fade. 
into the background of the of the of the movie as a whole. But that's that's Jin. I just don't. I'm not a big Jin guy. I like Hendrix, but <laughs> um, I got it. What are we talking about? Leia? No, Padme. No, Padme. Who, Padme who are you also. Picking? Huh? Who are you picking for your number one? Okay, so it's either Leia or Ray, and Ray has been in one movie so far, so the jury's still out. I gotta finish this, this trilogy before before I pick between those two. But Jin and Padme are out. Yeah, I would go with that. Yeah. See, I can see that, but I can also I can also see why somebody would think that you know Padme was a really strong female lead. Her role in Episode Three is, I think, probably what tarnishes it for a lot of people, because. In episode one and two, she's the go-getter. She's definitely very adventurous and kind of, you know, breaks the rules to try and, you know, help her cause. She's a very strong female lead in that sense. She's always fighting. You know, you see her in episode two getting on top of things when Obi-Wan makes the terrible pun. Uh, you know, kind of taking care of herself. I think she does a good job in that. I think people just kind of push her aside because in episode three, she's just pathetic. Yeah, you know, I think a reason that Padme can't be top in my mind is that she's too much of a pushover, like you're saying, with the yep. whole husband thing. Mm-hmm. Her, her husband was a jerk, and she did nothing about it. And and that's yep. not what we got from Padme in episode one. The Padme in episode or even one... two. Yeah, those, that, those two Padmes, that Padme, was a strong, independent woman that mm-hmm. was a role model. But then in episode three, we didn't get that. It didn't carry through. Yeah. So, Even episode two, Anakin's like, the council told us we have to stay here, I have to protect you. And she's like, yeah, but Obi-Wan needs our help. Get in the ship if you want to protect me. Yeah, and right. then they went to Geonosis. So she was definitely, she's like, I'm, I'm not just going to sit by and do nothing when there's something that can be done. But she's also, she's a jerk to slaves. I'm just going to say it like that. You know, she's not sensitive to slavery or the slave trade at all. Because remember, she asked anakin if he was a slave and you know what he told her i'm a person and my name is anakin and i think that says it all it's like seriously padme you need to think before you speak (laughs) so that's a knock on her oh that's funny i don't know about that i don't think she was i do uh, know about that do you think she was a slave owner movie She was a queen. She was definitely a slave owner yeah she probably was well i guess maybe no though because she has she has her handmaidens which were like hand select, and that's a position. So I guess she wouldn't really need slaves, but she just treats her handmaidens as slaves because they just have to do everything that she wants. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think she treats them as slaves because look at the one. Look at how she acted towards that one that died for her in episode Corday. two. Corday. Mm. Wow. Yeah, she. W- what? Nice job, Chase. You pulled that name like right out there. <laughs> like we didn't have to look it up, we didn't have to stop for five seconds and hem and haw. You were just like, "There, Corday." Uh, you know, is that your favorite? Add to your list, Josh. Is that one? What, what was the name? Corday. Horday. Cord A. C O R D E. I think. C is in cat. O is in oh, okay. Orday, Ostrich. and then the rest of Corday. <laughs> Corday. Yeah. I'm doing Yaddle next, man. But Corday well, could be coming. Throw it on your list so you have things to do. Corday. I gotta look that up now. Corday. Is that how you spell it? No, that's definitely not how you spell it. Oh, wait, Star Wars. It is how you spell it. Oh, she's the one that got blowed up. Yep. Okay. But it's funny because actually, Chase, you might be right. You might be right that that's how she treats her handmaidens because in episode one, when um, uh, the the queen stand-in chooses some handmaiden to go mm-hmm. back and clean her too, she chooses Padme. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I'm just going to give it back to you, woman. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well... I, I'm picking Ray, for sure. Leia. What if Ray turns out to be bad, though? Well, that's. I don't think she's going to. But if she does, I mean, it would obviously change because a hero cannot be bad. But I think it is Ray. Ray is. Uh, she's just everything about her is really good. She was willing to stick up for her friends. I guess we could say the same things about Leia too. And that's the thing. I, think you can, I think you can say more about Leia right now, but I think Kyle's right. It's just because we have a lot more I data I mean, Leia's point. got... There's more about her because she was in more movies. But she yep. was the original female hero, and I think we're kind of overlooking that because we didn't grow up in that era, but... Speak for yourself. Really? Were you... Come on. You're not that much older 82. than me. What? What? You were born in 82? Yes. Man, you you're old. old. You old. <laughs> I know. I'm thirty. I'm gonna be thirty-five in a couple days. 
Wait, when's your birthday? <sighs> October 30th. No, it's same not. Same as you. Yeah, we, we've discussed this before. We've talked we about the same that. birthday. Even I knew yes. that. That's so cool. I'm going to be 30. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five years older than you. I'm going to yeah. be 35. Oh, man. Anyways, so later. And was... I don't even want to talk about how old Chase is. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, not even 20. Can't Let's even go. drink yet. Wait, I'm drinking not even scotch 20? while I do this, and he can't even drink no. yet. Uh-huh. I'm not even. I'm 20 in January. Huh. So, anyways, Leia was the original, like, cool girl, the original hero, and I've heard people talk about Leia that if her character was written now, she'd be very similar to what Ray is. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm changing. I'm changing mine to Ray. I think. I mean, I mean Leia, because yeah. the way she was in, in A New Hope. She was so irritated those guys were rescuing her. She didn't want anything to do with that. She right. was like, you guys are a bunch of blockheads. Move out of my way. I can rescue myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we did I mean, Ray was kind of like that. I mean, look at her climbing that. She was climbing around in that first order base. Stop grabbing my hand. Yeah. Stop grabbing my hand. Yeah. She was pretty cool. I don't I know. That's tough. Even, even to the new movies, she's still general. Like... When you're that old and she's still trying to protect the galaxy, mm. I think that shows a lot for what Leia's personality is. Yeah, you're yeah. right. I, th- I think even after everything time... she went through, losing losing her son, then her husband dying, and she's still and you know she didn't trying to take care heart. of the galaxy. What was that? I said, and she didn't die of a broken heart through either of those uh, things. Yep, exactly. Hmm. Yeah, you guys have swayed me. You've swayed me to your side. I think you're right. It's Leia. But let's uh, well, I'm like I said, I'm still out. Let's yeah. see what happens with Ray in these next two movies. Yep. Maybe it's going to be Amelia Clark's character in uh, the Han Solo movie. We're going to all be about her. Maybe or maybe it'll be Rosie. Oh, that's true. That's it for the great debate. I believe, right? Yeah. We'll nothing else yeah, in debate. Yeah, I think so. So uh, we'll move on to listener comments. Oh wait, we didn't get any listener comments says this week. So what does that mean? Well, it means that our listeners need to comment. And then we can talk about what they say. So if you got a comment, please leave one. Send us an email. You can also find us on Twitter now. We would love to add your comments to our show so we can bring our listeners into the show. This is your show, after all. And we're just here trying to do a good job for you. I'm just happy if my mom listens. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Geek Cetera, and we invite you to join us next time for another exciting adventure. But until then, job done. I'm only here so don't get fine. My name is Barry Allen, and I am the main character of the best written DC show on the CW, and that's saying For more from the geeks, please check out geek-cetera.com. This podcast was brought to you by the Geek Cetera team. Now this is podcasting. Oh, she's the one that got blowed up.